celebrate from these graduates. I'm Bill Dean, I'm the director for Public Education. I'll be introducing the staff in a little while. Everybody does all the work. Uh, it's my pleasure today to welcome you here this evening. We have tonight 35 of all graduating from GED, which should really be celebrating and complimenting on their hard work. Along with that, the teachers really were closely one on one with these folks, and they really established you know, relationships, and it's just a win win situation that we're very pleased with. However, we have 132 that have completed the GED in the school year. Some completed back in December, and of course, the move to Joe's not come. So there certainly are more than these 35 witnesses tonight. And we're very happy that these 35 are letting us share in their celebration. At this time, I'd like to introduce some, some folks that, that really support education here and are here tonight to help us celebrate with these adults. So I'll have these folks please stand and remain standing if you would, please. We have with us Dr. Russell Hodges, Superintendent of Bay County School Corporation. We have Dr. Steve Baer, uh, Human Resources Director for Bay County Schools. We also have Lori Savoy, a uh, school board member from the Bay County School Corporation. And also Warren Taylor, also a school board member here to help us celebrate. And we have a special guest, Mary Jo Sonifer, who is a retired school teacher and author, who has really supported our program. And we have Jeff Glassberg, director of IV Tech here in Collinsville. And Jeff works very close with Paul Pace again. And Jeff, I believe that he did six credits at IV Tech. These students go on to take courses at IV Tech, so we appreciate that. Thank you very much. Now for the real workers, I'd like to introduce them. We have them all stand so we can give them a, a round of appreciation. And to begin with, my uh, right hand lady, uh, Rita Mills, uh, our development coordinator, Patsy Brock, Dad Pantry, Christina Bailey, our secretary, Tina Goodnight is on sports staff, Gabby Dunway is a bookkeeper. Bob Wells is one instructor. Franklin Mills, another one of our instructors. Ronald Burgett, instructor as well. Megan Alexander, instructor also. Sandy Faith is a final instructor. We also have Lori Dickerson as a volunteer instructor. So we'd like to hear that you're in the round for this very long time. Brian Gross, Science, Courtney 
Edinburgh Literature, Christina Lamb, Science, Franklin Mills Literature, Macy Oliver, Social Studies and Literature, Catherine Long, Science, Courtney Rosenberger.
A quote by an anonymous author said, the difference between try and triumph is a little This quote could be used to describe Rhonda Percival's quest to obtain her GED. The path to obtain her GED has not been easy. Health issues, as well as the death of family members or obstacles, where she had to provide the extra money. Seeing her persevere through these obstacles has been encouraging for other classmates. We had to encourage her in March and April to apply to the extra month and take the test. She did. She passed. We congratulate Ronda Percival on her achievement by presenting her with the Face Award and wish her the best in her future. Randy Tucker is one of those types of people. 
He started attending the adult basic education class on August 18th of 2009 while he was in the Book 1 TAA program for dislocated workers. During this time in class, Randy was a dedicated hard worker. The black charts, frankly, seemed to be very difficult. After much practice and preparation, Randy took the GED test in April 2010. He passed all subjects well and language. When he heard the results of the test, Randy asked the teacher, okay, now what is my next step? Randy had displayed his strongest and determination throughout the time, attending classes clear up to the time he passed the reading test in July 2010. Randy had retaken the language test again because he still had not passed it. He did so on July 2010, February 2011, August 2011, and finally on October 2011, he passed his test. Unfortunately, when we had passed the first phase of the test, the scores of four ten and higher, but had not made the score with the average. Now we have another challenge to make that average. At this time in class, Randy had maintained a positive attitude and rose to challenge after a test. Even after the TAA on the point of ran out, Randy continued classes because he felt, I am getting the GED. I am not getting On the eighth time of taking the test, which this makes the sixth time, sixth time of taking the math. In December of 2012, Randy reached the goal of making the 450 average or higher. We commend Randy's dedication and perseverance to reach this goal and feel he can easily be a model for anyone who feels discouraged and wants to get up. Just think of Randy.
So I'm very honored to be here today in the spot. And um, I, I plan to continue to take all the classes out of today. And continue down this path. If anyone has ever struggled, you know, my story would be a story to show you that you can turn it around and complete change. And turn it all the way around and better yourself and do what you have to do. And I'd like to thank everyone who supported me and my family. Thank you. 
during this graduation celebration. As I, when I was asked uh, if I would be willing to speak, and after I accepted, I began to think, what is it that I could share this evening? I wanted it to be something that was profound, thought-provoking, maybe even inspirational. So I thought, how am I going to come up with a presentation like that? And so I had to think that in my career, I could probably attend over 30 graduation ceremonies. I heard many, many speakers, and I thought, well, I'll just draw from their wisdom, and I will kind of just present to you some of those tidbits of knowledge that I have done. And I thought, and I thought, and I began to realize I could only name a handful of people that I heard speak. And the only common theme that I could remember was that they would say things like, time is short. In the time would allow, I would tell you this story. And they would proceed to tell us this long story, leaving me wondering what just exactly did they leave out. Most graduation ceremonies take place in the venue that's very warm. Most people are very comfortable. The graduates are thinking, what is this guy going to get finished the way he is the diplomas and then also the graduation celebrations? And so two thoughts hit me. One, this time slot's not nearly as prestigious as they led me to believe it was. And two, I was in serious trouble. So I began to do some more research and I, and I was reminded of a poem by Robert Frost that says, The Road Not Taken. Let me just share a couple pieces of that poem with you. It says, Two roads diverge in the yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both. And one me traveled along I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the underwood. Two roads diverge in the wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. And so as I thought about the GDP celebrations that I've been a part of, the thing that I always look forward to are the stories that I just shared with you just a few moments ago. Every one of you took that path less travel, but the reason that you did was as different as the number of people who said to sit before me this evening. But there are some common themes, and you expressed them so eloquently just before I got up here. You have support, whether it be from a spouse, whether it be from a parent, whether it be from a child, whether it be from a teacher, or someone encouraged you along the way. You experience difficulties, you experience challenges, but you persevered. You had a goal in mind, and tonight we are going to recognize and reward you for reaching that goal. I thought I would conclude my remarks by sharing with you some thoughts from that renowned philosopher, Dr. Seuss, in his thought provoking book, All the Places You'll Go. He penned his words. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off on the way. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction that you choose. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike and face up to your problems, whatever they are. And will you succeed? Oh, yes. You will indeed. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Congratulations, and let the celebrations begin.
Courtney Rosenberg.
Lord, Amos, and Jesus.